Hello Tamers and welcome to semi-final 2 of Heroes Across Time, the Young Hunters vs. the Rival Hunters. The Rivals and Quartzmon have the first move. Security Setup Digimon Standby, let's open the Digital Gates. Hatching, Monimon, evolves into Drakmon. Then, using Psychmon from the hand as Digicross material, a Possumon will be played for 5 minus 2, 3 cost. On play and on evolve, the top 3 cards of the deck are searched for one of the rival hunters. And there we go, although not the best, Rentobari is now played for free, but unfortunately, there goes a Quartzmon to the bottom of the deck. Turnover, hatching, a Monimon on this side as well, evolves into a Kakimon. First, using Shoutmon from the hand as Digicross material, Damemon will be played for also 5 minus 2, 3 cost. It has the same effect as a Possumon, but for the young hunters. 2 and 3, and there we go, Tagiru is played at no cost, but there goes a uh, superior mode to deck bottom as well. Finally, for 3 cost, Taiki is played and turnover. Drakmon moves out. Ren chooses not to load a Digimon and a Possumon goes for secure. With Psychmon's inheritable, one draw. Check. 10k on a second superior mode, so a Possumon is taken out. But on delete, it places both itself and Psychmon into Ren's cross loader with save. Now for two cost, Drakmon will evolve into another copy of a Possumon. On evolve again. No targets. But now Ren will use his hunter effect, suspending himself in order to place a Possumon from his cross loader beneath the Apossumon on the field. To evolve it for 3 minus 1, 2 cost into Cho Hakaimon. One draw. On evolve, for every two evolution cards this Digimon has, activate the following effects. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 3k DP for the turn. With Ren's charge, it currently has a total of 4, so that's minus 6k DP, depleting Damemon. But of course, with its on delete, just like a Possumon, it saves itself under Psyche. And the second save target from the trash is chosen to be Arrestor Drama on Superior Mode, placed into Tagiru's. With Cho Hakaimon's second effect, during your turn when an opponent's Digimon is deleted by dropping to 0 DP, one draw and turn over. At the start of the turn, Tagiru bumps the memory up to 3, draw, and Ikakimon moves out. Psyche chooses not to load a Digimon, and Ikakimon goes for security on 2k DP. Check, but it is one of the rival hunters, Iru Suzaki, now played for free, a bit unfortunate, because they were hoping for a Kakimon to be deleted. Next, for 4 cost, Clockmon is played. On play, the top 3 cards of the deck are searched for 2 different colored, save, Digimon. Gumdramon and Omega Shoutmon are chosen. Turnover, active, draw, and hatching, Monimon. At the start of the main phase, Iru will load another copy of Cho Hakaimon into a cross loader to inflict minus 2k DP to a Kakimon, depleting it. But with Monimon's inheritable on delete, one draw. But with Cho Hakaimon's second effect, since an opposing Digimon was depleted, they draw as well. Now Cho Hakaimon will go for security. With Dragmon's inheritable, it rises to 9k. And with the combined power of the two, a Possumon inheritables, a total of minus 4k DP is inflicted to Clockmon, depleting it as well. But on the lead, save, it goes under Taiki. Since Cho Hakaimon's second effect is done once per turn, they get another draw. Now check on 9k, but it is the option card, Takiru Chikara! Or overflowing power. On security, this card is added to the hand. Now Monimon will evolve into a Kakimon, and finally using Dobermon from the hand as Digicross material, a third of Possumon will be played for 3 cost, on play, 1, 2, and 3, but again no Tamer targets. Turnover, Tagiru bumps the memory up to 3, draw, and hatching, Monimon. At the start of the main phase, Taiki will load Shoutmon King version into his cross loader for one draw. Now Monimon evolves into Gumdramon, and then using a Clockmon from the hand as Digicross material, Gumdramon will be played for 4 minus 2, 2 cost. On play, by placing one Digimon with save in its text from your hand under one of your tamers, draw one card, but they choose not to do so. Then using the hunter effects of both Tagiru and Psyche, Shoutmon King version and Damimon are placed at the bottom of Gundramon's evolution cards. In order to evolve it for 2 minus 2, 0 cost into Tagiru's partner, Arrestor Drama. One draw. On Evolve, if this Digimon has two or more evolution cards, it gains Rush until the end of the turn, so it immediately goes for security. With Gumdramon's Inheritable, 
one draw. With Shoutmon King version's inheritable, it can delete an opposing Digimon with 4k DP or less, so a Possumon is destroyed, but once again, it saves itself under Iru while placing the Dobermon from the trash under Ren. And finally, with Jamming from Clockmon's inheritable, it has nothing to fear from its 5k DP. Check. But it is another tamer, the old Clockshaw Man. On play, the top three cards of the deck are searched for one Hunter and one safe Digimon. And there we go. First, Clockmon, as well as the leader of the rival hunters, Ryoma Mogami is added to the hand. Finally, for three cost, Arrestor Dramon will super evolve into Omega Shoutmon. One draw. On Evolve, choose any number of your opponent's Digimon whose total DP adds up to 4k or less and delete them. But for every two evolution cards this Digimon has, add 3000 to the maximum DP you can choose with this effect. Omega Shoutmon currently has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 evolution cards, so that's 4 plus 6, a 10k cap, which eliminates a Possumon. And with that, turn over. Ekakimon moves up. First, at the start of the main phase, Iru will load Clockmon into her crossloader to give minus 2k DP to Omega Shoutmon. Then using Iru and Ren's Hunter effects, Clockmon, as well as Psychmon, will be placed at the bottom of Ikakimon's evolution cards to evolve it for 2 minus 2, 0 cost into Yashamon. On play and on evolve, one of the rival hunters can be played from the hand at no cost. So here comes their leader, Ryoma. And now that they have at least 4 tamers on their field, the old clockshot man can be suspended to give Yashamon security attack plus 1 until the end of the turn. It goes for secure. With a Kakimon's inheritable, it gives another minus 2k DP to Omega Shoutmon, lowering it to 3k. With Psychmon's inheritable, 1 draw. And finally, with Clockmon's inheritable, that's jamming on its 2 security checks. First, another Arrestor drama on superior mode, sent to the trash. Second, 2 Armon crashed as well. And now, for three cost. Yashamon will evolve into the Prince of the Dark Area, Astamon. One draw, and on evolve, since it has at least four evolution cards, for nine minus three, six cost, here it comes. The mastermind who devours time within the shadows, Quartzmon. One draw. With its on evolve, Ryoma is suspended as well. And now there are a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Suspended Digimon and Tamers on the field, memory plus 4, back to 3. And with that, turn over, the young hunters cannot unsuspend. Their only hope is the Gundramon in the raising area that could not be suspended because it was within the raising area. Now, the young hunters added overflowing power to their hand from security, so this Gundramon could easily go into superior mode this turn. However, for superior mode to lock Quartzmon, a level 7 away, they need 4 different colored tamers on their field, and currently, they only have 2. And without being able to use their hunters to reduce evolution costs, it's not going to be possible to get their 4 tamers this turn. But if they don't get rid of Quartzmon, Quartzmon is just going to nuke their final security and end the game next turn. Well first, at the start of the main phase, Taiki is going to load a Restor Dramon into his crossloader for one draw. And now, it all boils down to this. For two cost, Gumdramon evolves into Damemon. On evolve, the top three cards of the deck are searched for one of the young hunters. It doesn't matter which, as long as they get just one, they will be able to do something. Here we go. First, yes! Okay, it looks like the young hunters are not out of this game just yet. Second, Oh, that's even better. Now they can get different colors. And third, well, that's just a Shoutmon King version over there. But in this case, they are going to play Yu. Since Yu is fresh on the field, he is unsuspended and can use his Hunter effect. Loading a uh, Clockmon into the bottom of Damemon to slide evolve it for 1 minus 1. Zero cost into Yu's partner, Tsuarmon. One draw. On Evolve, D Digivolve 1, one of your opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon, but for every two evolution cards this Digimon has, add one to the maximum level you can choose with this effect. Since it currently has 1, 2, 3, 4 evolution cards, it can target up to 5 plus 2. Level 7, Suarmon forces Quartzmon to its knees, regressing it down into Astamon. And with that, Suarmon goes for secure. With Gumdramon's inheritable one draw. And of course, since it has jamming, it has nothing to fear. But it is a second copy of Ryoma. Now played for- Dude, what is up with the rival hunter's luck today? Literally the first three cards on the top of their security were all different tamers. But it looks like the young hunters don't intend to lose either. 
from the hand for zero cost. Here comes the option card. Sagiru Chikara! On main, Digivolve one of your Digimon into a Digimon with saving its text from under one of your tamers, paying the evolution cost. So paying four, Suwarmon will go beyond the limits, evolving into a Rester Drama on Superior Mode from Tagiru's Cross Load. One draw on Evolve. Place one of your opponent's level 3 Digimon under one of your opponent's other Digimon as its bottom evolution card or under one of your tamers. But for each tamer you have in play with a different color, increase the maximum level you can choose by one. With three different colored tamers, they can target up to level 6. Estamon is sent to the bottom of the old clock shop man. And all the evolution cards are trash. And with that, turn over. However, at the end of the turn, once per turn, if a wrestler drama on superior mode has 4 or more evolution cards, it can attack without suspending, so it goes for another swing on 10k with jamming, but it's just a Dobermon on 5k, completely eradicated. And now, turn end for real, active, and draw, hatching a Monimon. But at the start of the main phase, Ryuma's effect triggers, allowing them to load back Quartzmon as well as Psychmon into their respective cross load. Now Monimon evolves into Ekakimon. First, using Cho Hakaimon from the hand as Digicross material, Yashamon is played for 5 minus 2, 3 costs. And on play, here comes a third copy of Ryoma. And now using the hunter effects of Ren, Iru, and Ryoma, placing Dobermon, Apossomon, and Cho Hakaimon beneath Yashamon, he will evolve for 3 minus 3, 0 cost into another Estamon. One draw. And on Evolve, with at least 4 evolution cards, you can evolve into a Quartzmon from under one of your tamers for 6 cost. Suspending another Ryoma to play Psychmon for 6 minus 1, 5 cost. Behold the return of Quartzmon. One draw. Once again, on Evolve, all other Digimon and all tamers on the field are suspended. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Memory gain back of 5 back to 0, so their turn continues. And if Quartzmon attacks now, it'll all be over for the young hunters. However, because this Quartzmon evolved from a Yashamon that was just played this turn, it has summoning sickness and cannot attack. Instead, using a Choo Choo Mon from the hand as Digicross material, another Apostmon will be played for 3 cost on play, 1, 2, and 3, no tamers. And finally, turn over, turning a Possumon into a blocker with Choo Choo Mon's inheritable. Of course, it would have been better to put Choo Choo Mon into Quartzmon to create a 15k blocker, but unfortunately, the rival hunters only drew into him in the middle of all these evolving shenanigans. The young hunters and their partners do not go active, draw, and hatching Monimon. First, at the start of the main phase, Taiki loads a Kakimon for one draw, and you will load Damemon for memory plus one. Then Monimon evolves into Gumdrum. If the young hunters can't clinch the game this turn, they will most likely be obliterated the next. So they're gonna go all out. First, using Shoutmon from the hand as Digicross material, Gumdramon will be played for 4 minus 2, 2 cost, and then, thanks to use memory gain, they can do this without any evolution cost reduction. For another 2 cost, Gumdramon will super evolve into a Rester Drama. One draw. On Evolve, since it has two evolution cards, it gains rush until the end of the turn, so it can immediately go for secure. With Gumdramon's Inheritable, one draw. And with Shoutmon's Inheritable, with a limit of 4k DP, it's going to blast straight through that pesky Apostmon blocker. On the lead save, placing Choo Choo Mon under Ren. And final security check for the rival hunters, which is the final fortress. Standing at 15k DP, Another copy of Quartzmon, completely crushing a Rester Drum. And finally, for 3 cost, the Young Hunters will summon the old Clock Shop Man. On play, 1, 2, and 3, they search Shoutmon King Virgin. And with that, turn over. But at this moment, Superior Mode's second effect comes into play once more, allowing it to attack without suspending, so it strikes straight through Quartzmon's Lock. The rival hunters have no blockers on the field and no security remaining. It's a direct attack and the match is over. The winners are the Young Hunters. So they will be going up to face I and Bill Zimon X in the final round.